here for. Today I'm going to recap a technique that we use to help us with our division. It's called flexible partitioning. Now we can use partitioning a lot when we're working with questions that require us to know a lot about place value. However, flexible partitioning is slightly different, but it's going to be able to help you tackle those trickier division questions. I'm going to start with a question that just requires our normal partitioning. So if I took the question 268 divided by 2, we can partition 268 into 260 and 8. That means we've used our place value knowledge, our hundreds, our tens and our ones. That then makes the number slightly easier to be able to divide by 2. You might also be able to just look at the number and be able to do this. So 200 divided by 2 is 100. 60 divided by 2 is 30. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. We can then bring all those numbers back together to find our answer. This was only possible because our longer three-digit number was divisible by two. However, we need to use flexible partitioning when not all the individual digits are divisible by two. I'll show you an example now. Okay, I've chosen to divide by 6 this time. 126 divided by 6. Now if we were going to look at the question like we did last time, 6 divided by 6 we can do, but 2 divided by 6 we can't do, 1 divided by 6 we can't do. So I'm going to use flexible partitioning, meaning I'm going to split the numbers up, number up in a different way than just hundreds, tens and ones. Now I know my six times table, so I can see another multiple of six in my three digit number. Can you spot it before I partition this number? Okay, pause the video if you want to have a little time to think. However, I know I can partition my number into 120 and six, because I know that 12, is in the six times table, and then I can divide 120 by 10, find out my answer, and then times my answer by 10 again. For example, 12 divided by six is two, two times 10 is 20. Six divided by six is one. So bring my answer together, 21. I'm going to come up with another question now. I'm going to see if you can do it alongside me doing it. So I'm going to have a look to see if I can use my hundreds, tens and ones partitioning technique. Seven divided by seven I can do. 5 divided by 7, I can't do. 3 divided by 7, I can't do. Have a little think about how you might partition this number now. I'm definitely going to partition my 1s, because I know that works. And I'm now going to partition my 350. Now, I don't expect you to be able to do 350 divided by 7. However... If we divide it by 10 and make it 35, that makes it a little bit easier. 35 divided by 7 equals 5. So times it by 10 again equals 50. 7 divided by 7 is 1. So our answer is 51. OK, I'm now going to write three more questions on the board and you can try and use flexible partitioning to try and work them out.
if you want to pause the video, have a little go at these now, and then I'm going to write in the answers using a different coloured pen for you. Okay, why don't you go and see if you can write your own question and give it to someone that you live with to see if they can use flexible partitioning to work it out. 